Walras said, French economist Walras said that general equilibrium means there can be equilibrium in commodity market, that is single market. But at the same time, there must be equilibrium in factor market. There must be equilibrium in Y market. There must be equilibrium in Z market. There are many commodities. So, you, you have written all these things. You take a photograph. Walra, French economic director of general equilibrium, says that demand is a function of price, demand for A is a function of price of A, price of B, price of N. Supply of A is a function of price of A, price of B, price of B. So there will be equilibrium in demand for A and supply of A. This is called equilibrium in commodity A, commodity A market. Commodity, but at the same time, there must be equilibrium in demand for B, supply of B, demand for N, supply of N. other commodity market, other commodities markets, equilibrium. At the same time, he says that demand for factor, demand for factor and supply of factor. What is factor? Labor capital, etc. Labor, capital, etc. This is equilibrium. This is equilibrium in factor market. equilibrium in factor market. This is called factor price, factor reward, factor price. This is commodity A. This is price of commodity A. Price of price of commodity A. And this is quantity. 
Brian, take D off. Chromodity A. Our target is this. Our target, our target market. Our target market is this. But this will be in equilibrium only when demand supply is equal here and as well as in other commodity markets also demand supply are equal. In other factor market demand supply are all equilibrium. So this is all known as general equilibrium analysis. General equilibrium analysis. He said that there cannot be equilibrium in one market without having equilibrium in the rest of the markets. They will always try to get equilibrium. But in fact, they cannot reach to the equilibrium just like lake water agitated by wind ups and down will continue. So what he concludes that in general equilibrium analysis, in general equilibrium analysis, each firm, each commodity market will try to get equilibrium price. And equilibrium price will be obtained in the long run. All markets tend to reach at equilibrium. But they cannot, they will try. And so, French economists say that supply, supply is equal to demand. It means whatever is supplied in the market, market is clear. Whatever is supplied to the market, market is clear. That means there will be no overproduction in the market. There will be no left out in the market. There cannot be unemployment. There cannot be Unemployment, as J.B. says in 1803, French economist J.B. says in 1803, the supply creates its own demand. Likewise, Walla said that every market will tend to be in equilibrium. In the long run, equilibrium will be obtained. And that equilibrium will be known as general equilibrium. Because price of a commodity market is in equilibrium and at the same time in the long run price of b commodity price of n commodity price of factor market that means labor market equilibrium labor market equilibrium what is labor market supply of labor demand for labor that is known as way what is Demand for capital, supply of capital, that is interest. Demand for bond, demand for bond, supply of bond, that is bond price. Bond price. So in the economy, bond price is equilibrium, wage rate is in equilibrium, interest is in equilibrium. It means all factors market, money market, capital market, all markets are in equilibrium. And then in the long run, general equilibrium analysis will be obtained and commodity, a commodity market will be in equilibrium. In the short run, there cannot be equilibrium. In the long run, the all 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 commodities, all factors, all capital, labor, all try to tend to get equilibrium. In the long run, all markets will be in equilibrium. Therefore, this target market will be equilibrium in the long run when all other markets are in equilibrium. But what is in practice? In practice, there are many possibility that in the short run no equilibrium can be obtained because of the agitated wind always disturb lake water. 
lake water, water will try to get the level. But that is being disturbed by the fluctuations. What is this fluctuation? This fluctuation is suddenly innovations. This fluctuation suddenly change in the technology. This fluctuation suddenly change in the test. Suddenly change in the habit. Suddenly change the consumer's behavior. Then suddenly there is asymmetric information. Information is not flowing correctly. All these factors in the short run disturb equilibrium. So in, in the long run, there will be establishment of equilibrium. That is known as Walra, Walras law. What is Walras law? That market is equilibrium in the long run. Commodity market A is in equilibrium only when all other markets are in equilibrium. This is general equilibrium analysis established by Walra in 1889. That is known as general equilibrium analysis. But Marshall, but Marshall rejected. It was in 1889. Marshall published in 1890, he said, no, we keep other factors constant. Only then any law can be verified. If everything is variable, you cannot get a conclusion. In science also, you keep other things constant, then you test importance of uh, chemical reactions, physical reactions. So Marshall said, no, you have to keep other factors constant. He said that, Marshall said that, in a blade, scissor, scissor is used in cutting, but when scissor cuts cloth, one, one blade is constant and other blade is moves. Both, both blades do not work. So Marshall said, in the short run, supply is constant, demand is variable. In the long run, Demand may vary according to the supply may vary according to demand. So Marshall's analysis rejected Walrasian theory and applied Parcellian theory, Parcellian equilibrium analysis, where demand for T and supply of T can be studied by assuming price of coffee constant, price of sugar constant, price of milk constant, market buyers constant number constant, then we can find out higher the price, lower the demand, lower the price, higher the demand, other things remaining constant. The Marcellian approach is partial equilibrium analysis, whereas Walras equilibrium is general equilibrium analysis. That's all. Thank you. Sir, I have a question. How is it so that supply creates its own demand? That is say the law of market discussion say the law.